You know what this game needs? A dark mode. Like, <laughs> I understand that, you know, it's probably gonna destroy the entire aesthetic of the game just to give me something so silly. Uh, but I really feel like it could benefit from it. Like, I'm in my room at night. It's like, it's like 11, 15 p.m. And, oh, this is kind of neat. Hmm. This is built like a big old thing right now. Yeah, cool. Uh, oh, wow. We just got all kinds of water features. Hey, sweet. And we're gonna get all kinds of things right here. Boop. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, dark mode. Yeah, please. Just like, just I just had that thought. I didn't record uh, as the as the monitor. I had to quickly uh, reach over and put it on um, a night mode or whatever, easy reader mode. Uh, this is just basically go anywhere. Ooh, it's kind of cute right there. Um, and it just got me thinking, like, man, this game is so bright. Every time I play it at night, it's just like it just lights up the room. But I'm too lazy to reach over and uh, and hit the button. You guys know how it is. The button's way over there, man. I'm not gonna reach over and hit like two buttons for the fucking menu to put on easy reader mode to make my life easier. Look what we're doing, man. We get some cool little symmetry here. Ooh. So one thing I noticed in some of the previous gameplay sessions, which the last one I recorded was probably a couple weeks ago, I think, um, is we're not particularly goal focused, you know? Like we, mm, it's not a bad spot. Um, we will, just like build and throw shit wherever but we don't really go out for these and i think we should start focusing on that because those things is there another one out here oh that's the yeah those things that's gonna give us tiles like new tiles and whenever i see i mean when i see fucking let me let me pull this up here because i need need a visual here when i scroll down i see a jordan fucking banana has got like deer level four and then like fountain level whatever get the deer online i'm like bitch i didn't i've never fucking seen a deer have i seen a deer do we have deers? It's been two weeks since I played. Like, and look at look at next windmill level two. I don't even know if I have level one. Rizali, Sputnik, all these dudes. Dergar. My God. I mean, so where am I at? Where do I stand? Where's my leaderboards for this? <laughs> On top of my dark mode. <laughs> like, we need those tiles, man. So I think it's time to to shake off the 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 you know, dick around because it's new and you're, you're fucking sciencing and really start focusing on getting out there and getting paid in the form of tiles and achievements that my friends can see and give me some kind of gratification when they're like, oh, I see you got this tile, Mike. And I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Well, what do you think about yours, you, Jordan? Do you like yours? Because I really love mine. It's, you know, like, fuck. Anyways, uh, this is this is actually so nice what I'm building right here. We can slowly leech our way out to grab these damn things. Hmm. <laughs> 44 tiles. We can do it in that. We can do it in that. So. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh. Oh, oh man. <sighs> so. It's been. Mm, 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 fantastic week. Well, last week was. This week's been pretty good, too. But um, last week was Jen and my first time going out together in. Jen says like 450 days and she says I'm gonna double check that math and I was like nah that's cool that's that's what it felt like 450 days since we last were able to take a vacation together without Declan um, now as parents we don't really have a whole lot of vacation time without Declan right we want to take him everywhere have him experience everything and all that stuff right um, but it's a lot easier to do certain things when you don't have kids in the house and so, <laughs> this was that, uh, this was that trip, basically, <laughs> is to basically get out and just, just like drink and have a good time and go to these restaurants and, uh, walk around and spend stupid money at a fire pit, getting to know people that, end, that by the end of the fucking night, 2.47 a.m., they're showing you picture videos of their wedding uh and telling us about how the dude's wife really loves anal like it's it really it was uh it really was a trip <laughs> it really was a trip and it was um it was just much needed man you know that's all just it was just nice to be able to get out and not have to worry about you know everything uh for just three days Oh, no, the same fucking piece. Hmm, damn, I could have planned that better if I had looked ahead. And I did not. Who is me? So, let's go and put this, I guess, here. Eesh. 
Um, so yeah, we had a great time. Uh, we had an absolutely stellar time. 2.47 a.m., like, true story. It was just, it was, we were just pushing ourselves to our body's limits. Um, and, but when I came back, I was like, when I came back from my trip, I was like, wow, so not only do I know, you know, what my hangovers feel like now, because it's been a long time, so just fucking you know, go hard. Uh, but I also now know that my body can survive a week of just complete chaos. <laughs> The food that I ate, the things that I, they, I mean, just, just seriously. I'm, I'm fucking trooper, man. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I had a good time. Uh, I had a good time. And, you know, happy to be back. Uh, I'm recording this, you know, uh, with a couple, just like a day before the, uh, uh, releasing it here. Or two days before. And so, you know, it's, uh, I feel recharged and I feel like good to, Get down and record some bullshit. Like, for example, uh, Tainted uh, Grail or whatever, right? Tainted Grail. Uh, that you guys are uh, asking for me to do a how to play poorly. <sighs> and I feel like that name is already reserved for just one game because there can't possibly be that many games that I play uh, I play poorly. I'm sure there's not. Okay, let's keep building this out here. Mm -hmm. No. No. I'm trying not to put all my eggs in one basket. Kind of, oh, sexy piece right there. Oh, I blocked this off, oh, son of a bitch. It's okay. Fine, we'll get another opportunity. Oh, we have an end of a train track here. Mmm, those are fun. Uh, sure. That's good. Houses. Yeah, we'll finish that guy off. Let's it that way. Nah. There we go. But yeah, it's been good. Just relaxed. Ready to do some shit. Okay, hmm. You know what? We, we don't we don't need to commit everything. There we go. Oh, I didn't know I got that. Yeah, it's up here in the corner. Um, we'll claim it, sure. Biome unlocked. And then we're also getting this tile? Sweet. A landscape replacing 2,000 tiles. Okay, cool. It's got a new biome. We haven't unlocked that biome? What? Hmm. Yeah, we can put whatever we want out there. Ooh, windmill. Damn, it's a damn shame. I have no good good spot to put it. I guess right here is where it's going. Ah, that's where it's going to go. Uh, this, this, this. I'm looking at these numbers here. One, two, three. I was afraid to put that down for a moment. Yeah, this makes more sense out here. Hmm. So, let's see. What else do we have coming? Ooh, that's a nice piece for that. 50. And then we just gotta get an end train with a... Gosh, still. It's still committing. Still think you're gonna get some fabled piece that may not happen. And this is just another... Oh, you know what? The guy just wants one. So maybe we'll just cap that. Oh, God. If only. Yeah, we'll just cap that. Here? Yeah, because anything we put here with one is gonna fill it in. Because he's one. 50 tiles. Trees. Hell yeah, trees. I got hella trees. Let me see. That'll give us these reveal. Ooh, what the hell is like some? What the hell is that? Is it a tree? Is it a dead tree? They're gonna give me a dead tree. Or is it water? I don't know. We'll find out. Looks cool. Whatever it is, I don't even know what it is. Looks awesome. Can't wait to get it. Uh, oh, this wants me to cap it off for a home run there, and that can be done with this guy. Not perfect everywhere else, but you know what? Ching. And it's a nice little chunk of land there. What do we have here? Oh, seven plus. Well, you know what? We don't have a choice here. Not not really, unless we want to get really stupid. We should start working our way out there though. I don't want to miss out on this dead tree in a in a ditch or something. Uh houses, houses, houses. They don't really care if there's any others. Great. You get want nine what? Nine okay. We might fucking start a new out here and finish some of these off. Look at that. Beautiful. 66. This is a record. This is definitely going to hit episode 2, guys. <laughs> 100%. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, we'll just put it on here, I guess. An awkward piece. So I need to put grass there, grass, or trees there, trees there. 
give me something at least that kind of kind of close. Jeez. Let's hook it up over here. Hmm. Yeah, this this is not it's not gonna neatly fit anywhere, really. Is that the neatest right here? One facing. That's wrong. Yeah, actually, that looks pretty nice. We should extend that out. Ooh, yeah. Hey, we can wrap those trees around here. Um. I mean, it's a city builder, right? Like, technically, I, I get those vibes so much when I play this because I feel like I'm, I'm planning, I'm like trying to create a master plan community, you know, and just get these guys, uh, you know, an efficient line to, to work into all these different things, you know? I do love those city builders. This is just like a puzzle game, right? Isn't it? It's just like a... And like, imagine if the, all these tiles just had numbers. It's like a reverse minesweeper or something. Like, if all these tiles just had... And there's only, like, four or five different types, right? So if each tile just had a number on each side... Like, there's a game for that. Someone just took and put, like... You know, trees and stuff on it. And trees and grass and water. <laughs> and then there's, like, the fucking... Uh, the jester card, you know? Which is, like, the pond of water or the train... Uh, actually not the pond water, yeah, just the, the train slash, um, water house or whatever. This guy wants me to close it off. I might try working on that. Oh god, no. That's gonna be forever. This piece is, like, plaguing me right now. That's fine. 34 houses. Oh, we can hook that guy up right over here. Yeah. Oh, we could have done. No, we couldn't have. See, we're sprawling. We're we're a sprawling community. We have look at we have the city. We have just a couple little things that all the way out here. We have the boonies. And we have boonies boonies two, which was much better than boonies one. And we're working out here on this tributary. Is gonna go to what? What the fuck is this piece? You know what? That looks great. How many of those am I? I have 62 more. I could make I could do that 62 more times. You know what? That looks great. Just throw it down. Um, oh god. Just disgusting piece. Everything I'm just going around this damn thing. I need to just commit. And just touch it. Just touch it. Oh! <gasps> what? Oh okay, I I wouldn't have made that out, but alright, cool. Hey, well we made the right choice to touch it, so. Let me see. Finish one. Ooh, that might work. Actually, we get lucky with that. This guy wants 200 something. Hmm. What is the, um... What does the crown mean? Oh, because it's tile. Okay, yeah, because it's tile. We have to do that. Two plus. We have to finish that mission. Mission. So serious. Oh, here we go. Close off that end, at least. 30, 68 tiles. Ooh, man, I'm doing gangster right now. And we can lock that off. We need a lot more. Oh, no, there's 50 more. Need, let me see. Yeah. Should I do this and risk getting another one that's right here? Nah. Nah. Why lock myself in like that? That's such an important thing. See, now that's going to show up. It's going to show up my feed. People are gonna be we we'll be standing around at the uh, the water cooler at work. So Mike, I see you got the uh, the tile there, and that's how I'll start. Be the envy of the office. Yeah, uh, that's oh, a tree on it. So you know what? Maybe it's a good one to slap down somewhere. Oh, what they want? God, they want so many more. Is there a weird opening? It's kind of a weird opening. Also kind of a weird opening. We match some sides, not others. And I just said no to that, but whatever. Uh, train. Going out. Perfect. Homes. On homes. The best TV I've ever seen come out of Canada. <laughs> just the apps. Man, homes. Holmes, I felt like, man, I wish you were my daddy, Holmes. Mike Holmes is a, um, is like a home inspector slash general contractor. Uh, let me take a drink for this. Holmes on Holmes 
is a show where they basically go to people's houses who've already had them inspected by a home inspector and then they will have him come in and look at everything and then he's gonna point out everything that they did wrong and it turns out and maybe some of it's for show or whatever uh it turns out there's a lot of really bad home inspectors now i've heard this to be true um i just got to get rid of that tile it's just the worst thing ever um now i've heard stories about having um whether it's the seller like uh, the person selling the home uh, brings in or uh, brings in their own home inspector to basically go through and check the house and say, yeah, this house is clean. There's no problems with the house or anything. Um, you know, I've heard that there, there are horror stories between whether the seller is doing it, or whether the buyer is doing it, because if the seller is doing it, they'll be biased towards the seller. If the buyer is doing it, it's probably going to be biased towards the buyer. So as a seller, um, you know, maybe maybe your home inspector is going to overlook a couple things to make it easier for you to sell. And so what happens? Another couple will come in, they'll buy the house, it's the dream house. They're like, oh my God, we're going to live forever and make babies and everything. <gasps> and then you find out the house is trash because you went with the seller's home inspector. That's where Mike Holmes comes in. 60. Let's just throw it down. Just fill the spot. Mike Holmes comes in. He checks it out. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to fix it for free. Brought to you by some fucking tools. Right? And... <laughs> And they go through and they like they fix it up, man. Like take care, they take care of all these problems. And some of these problems are crazy. It's like how on earth is that even like uh have they even passed get past anybody? Um they've had to do like entire wall knockouts because they they saw like in some cases like there would be a um uh a wall that they maybe knocked down and it's like, oh, that's like a load bearing wall. Uh, I'm surprised this building hasn't fallen down on top of you and your newborn child. So we're gonna fix it for free. And then like they do and they and it's just I don't know, it's just a fucking wholesome show because this whole time Mike Holmes is just like he's like he's got a little bit of that kind of gruffness, you know, to him. He's like, you know, you know if he if he sat you down, he put his finger in your face, like you fucked up, right? He's like that kind of guy. And so, you know, he but at the same time, like he is uh just like so caring you know like you got those soft sides of like gordon ramsay for example right you get all the soft sides uh but you don't get the insane yelling at everybody and all that stuff because that just doesn't fit the show it'd be so weird right he goes and it's like why the fuck did you go with the seller's home inspector don't you watch my fucking show what the fuck's wrong with you know like that doesn't happen man right <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty low key <laughs> and so um so yeah i mean i watch the shit out of that and you get to know like the kids help them and everything um and so you get to see them grow up and everything so it becomes like a family show and so now you're not even watching it for like the crazy home uh, issues they find now you're watching it to like watch this like dad work with his kids and everything it's fucking great it's just the greatest fucking tv and then there's sarah's house also on HGTV. Sarah is an interior designer. Uh, she has her little sidekick. I can't remember his name, but he is awesome. Um, and they basically go around and they redesign people's rooms. They're like, they go in and they're like, wow, yeah, this is like really bad. But they say it in like super nice kind of Canadian way, right? And then they go and they will do like a whole makeover. It's like, oh, you're going to, um, I don't know. You're not, you're not going to send your father to the hospice. You're going to bring him home so he can stay with you until the end. And so, like, wow, you really want to like, decorate his place. You don't want the last thing he sees to be, you know, this, uh, you know, drab, you know, oranges and all this kind of colors and patterns. <laughs> it's nothing like that, but... But it is enjoyable because, you know, she'll, like, pull, she'll pull these, like, patterns together and you're just, like... And you're kind of like looking at you're like that's not gonna look good every time you're like that's not gonna look good and then it does and you're like what the fuck how did sarah how did you do it how on earth did you you made it work somehow and that's me watching that whole show man all the fucking time so yeah two good two good shows uh is there is there like an on demand for like old canadian shows because i swear those shows aren't anywhere um, does HGTV have a streaming service? By the time you hear this, I will have figured it out. HGTV on demand. Hold up. Discovery Plus, HG full episodes. Okay, hold on. For free. Okay, hold on. Yeah, but it's not all of them, though. Let me see. 
Homes, buy it right. Well, hold on. Homes, next generation. Homes and homes and homes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, Discovery Plus. All right, I might, I might actually have Discovery Plus. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, that's him. Doesn't he fit the description I said, right? Like, you could tell. You could tell he could, he could, he could put his finger in your face and start telling you, you fucked up and you fucked up. Um, so... <clears throat> that was a nice tangent. I got my I got my tile. I don't really care. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm done today. This we're definitely going to episode two. It's going to episode two, baby.